Hello guys and welcome to this video where we will be testing GT Omega Apex Tent which is basically something like a half rig for people who don't have much space and they want to save space but they still want to have brick uh, so this is a very good option for them uh, I wanted to get this uh, I wanted to get hands of this product from GT Omega because my friend is thinking about the buying of those and basically I just wanted to review it as well because I think it's a very cool thing because I wish I would have this thing in the past because yeah it would save a lot of time so if you cannot afford a rig or if you don't have a space for a rig basically if you will need something movable which you can use with you I want to test this thing and see how does it work guys Basically, I already pre-opened the box. I had some some cool stuff. The GT Omega is from Scotland, and I got some awesome Scottish treats, shortbread and such. So I'm looking forward to test those. And so thank you so much, GT Omega, for being oh, such an awesome partner. And let's open this box, guys, and let's see what is inside. And yeah, how does it work? Because it's freaking heavy, guys. 16 kilograms. 16. So let's say something. It's a whole metal and such, so I think it's gonna be pretty awesome. So I'm gonna take it out. I'm gonna probably put the box the camera a little lower so you can see. Yeah, there we go. I already pre-opened, so oh my god! Oh my god, the Scottish people must be strong. Alright, there we go. There's oh pre-drilled, pre-drilled. I'm sorry, I just opened these parts because I had to get one of the boxes out. There's a, another extra box inside which contains the holder for your shifter and I think it's pretty cool because you know it's a uh, you can use it you don't have to put anything on your desk so I pre-opened this because I'm such a strong strong person the good thing is everything is basically already pre-done so you don't have to do anything by yourself so that's pretty cool it's very simple you know I hate building everything all the time, so I think this is pretty cool thing. Get it out! There we go. Woo! Okay, how not to lose the fingers? Oh, 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 there we go, there we go, so, oh, this is how it works, okay, okay, oh, that's so heavy, guys, that's good, because when it's heavy, it means it's solid and it's gonna work, you know, so that's the positive thing, oh, okay, I was like, this is so low, guys, watch this, watch this, guys, okay, I was thinking, like, this is, like, for kids or something, <laughs> there we go. There we go. All right. All right. We're getting somewhere. Okay, guys. I'm going to assemble everything and I'm going to put my wheel on it and let's try it. Okay, now we have no absolutely crazy grip. We have a dry tires, we have a slick tires. So, this doesn't move, guys. Ah! <laughs> That's cool. That's cool. So, because I hate when you are like doing something, braking, for example, these things move, you know, so it's very solid. That's important. And let's put everything else on it.
Okay, guys, so we are fully working now, so I apologize for the mess. So this is basically how we look like. I have a two screens, so sorry for that. I have a really mess everywhere, guys, so apology for that. So I have put the panels, I haven't screwed them because I need to use them in a mid. So I didn't screw them there, but they're holding good. I recommend like uh, screwing them for sure. I wasn't doing any attention on the cable management. I was doing these, uh, using these zips basically for uh, holding up. And yeah, I placed my wheel on it. So everything is working guys. So the only problem, we have a chair here. On this chair, there are no stops. You know, there's no stopping in here. So that can cause the problem because I have a load cell brake. So it makes a lot of force. But this is basically how it looks. So you can put it, it looks like a normal rig, you know, you don't even notice, like everything is very solid, everything is like, nothing is moving basically, it's uh, impossible basically to move itself because of these stops. So I have a floor, so this looks pretty decent, so I really tell, like move this is barely impossible. I think this whole, this whole setup is holding pretty pretty solid, I would say it's not movable, the only issue is the chair basically. So yeah, so let's get to driving. We can check a little bit driving as well. So let's do that. Yeah, so we can basically just normally drive. It's like, I feel like in a normal rig, the only thing I need to get rid of is the movement of the chair behind me, you know, because the chair behind me uh, or the, <laughs> the chair I'm using is moving, you know? So like you can see like this, everything is super solid. Like this part is flawless. That's absolutely perfect. There's no issue with this. So I can like really like, it's even better than on my rig there. Guys, I swear to God, it's even better than on my rig. It's even like, it's absolutely not moving at all. It's super solid. The only problem I can have is because I have a load cell pedal, I need to put a lot of uh, braking force into it, which is basically my fault, not, uh, not anybody else, you know? So uh, I have the 95 kilogram ballast on it. So that's like the heaviest. It's for the rig, basically the one other. So I don't have locked wheels or anything, so I cannot put too much braking pressure on it because otherwise I'm gonna move my chair behind. But what I found absolutely fantastic on this is the how solid is this? Because as I said, it's even more solid than my normal rig on the moves. You know, there's nothing, there's no movement, absolutely nothing. It's because it's weighting 16 kilograms. When you put your wheel on it, it's even more with the pedals. So I think that's a pretty, pretty decent thing. One of the things I really want to check is how movable it is, you know, it's not like take it away from home or anything, but it's more like uh, you put it in a closet or something, if you don't use it that often. But already you can see I have put it on my table, so I'm really saving a lot of space, so I can place it somewhere else. But I want to check as well how movable it is, because uh, how quickly I can put it together or something, you know. So good. I think it's a very good option for a cheap solution or space solution. It's pre real, so you can use it with the Trustmaster, Fanatec, whatever, whatever. So very easy to, to use. And as I said, there was nothing basically I had to take care of. I'm not using the shifter, but with the shifter even, it would be even better, you know, for even simpler to use. No issues. I'm really surprised. The only problem is the chair, that's it. But I think if with the normal brakes it would be fine. But my load cell is set to rig, you know, so it's really really heavy for 95 kilograms pressure. But this is working like a glove, except my driving. Except my driving, as per usual. Okay guys, so we finished the racing. I would like to see how quickly I can put it away. I don't have plug pedals, so I didn't use the screws. So that might be a little issue, but let's see how quickly I can unplug everything and put it away. So let's go. 
So, USB, USB, power, by. Oh, I have everything connected, damn it. Okay, so that's a little issue from my side. So we can take it away. Okay, it's my issue. I'm not gonna care about the cable management, all right? Sorry, for the video purposes. So we are putting away the power. Quickly, quickly. That's my issue because I had to like prepare for like keep it you know so there we have the rig itself you know so now what we can do with it I can put away the pedals because I don't want to break them but what can we do what can we do with it it's movable it's possible yes it's kind of heavy but that's good and there we do this I think my pedals will fall down now yes they will okay I'm gonna put them away give me a two seconds because I don't have them screwed, you know? They are not uh, meant to be screwed there. So, okay, so I can just do this. Bam! I can unlock this if I need to. There we go, look at this. <laughs> look at it, guys. And we can put it away, you know? A few seconds, basically. If you will have the pedal screwed, it's gonna be heavier, but it's still possible. So I think good job. Good job. I think I think I take it as a success. So yeah. Oh, right. Pretty good job. Pretty good job. So guys, if you enjoyed the video, please make sure to give a like. Thank you so much for GT Omega Boys for sending me this crazy thing. And I think it's a very good solution for everyone who is having trouble with the space and uh, is not sim racing all the time and they doesn't want to rig itself because of the space. I would say it's pretty usable, not only for sim racing, but for, uh, for example, flying simulators and such. So I would say I would really suggest that as well. If you would like to buy a like product like this, guys, on all GT Omega products, you can get 5% discount using the code JARGIER, my nickname. And yeah, thank you so much for GT Omega for sending me this thing and I hope you guys enjoyed the video and we will hopefully see each other in the future videos guys. So, bye bye!